Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The day is finally here, and I am so freaking excited. On tonight's program, ladies and gentlemen, we have something that's gonna make you sick. Some quick pretext, basically a year ago I started my own stationery company called Ink Outside the Box. It's a brand for big thinkers, big dreamers, people who have ambition in bucket loads, and people who aren't afraid to draw outside the lines. And basically the idea and ethos behind Ink Outside the Box is that I wanted to equip those people with the tools they need to be as productive as possible and make those dreams a reality. At the time I referred to it as merch that isn't merch and the idea behind that is that yes I have made it and I am a YouTuber but I wanted to make a brand and product so good that it didn't matter whether you knew who I was or you hated my guts or you didn't know who I was at all. If you walked into a shop where you saw the person next to you had a lovely little planner you would ask them oh I love that where is it from? For me I can't really think of anything worse than someone walking around with my name on their t-shirt. I wanted the products to be well thought out and valuable as well and so last year we launched our first academic planner or academic planner and so today after working for so long on this project blood sweat and tears have gone into this planner well disclaimer there's no blood I recently worked out how to use a drum roll effect so drum roll please cool isn't it this is the 2021 jackademic planner from ink outside the box isn't she beautiful it's so true to the ink outside the box aesthetic my personal aesthetic but also she's matured she's grown up She's got a job in the city. I am obsessed with it. Everything about this design, the colors, the little blobs, the little dots, the little lines, the font on the front, everything I think is just perfect. Last year's planner had the same design on the front and the back, but this year we've got a variation of the same sort of design. So it's the same sort of aesthetic, but it's slightly different on the back as well. There are so many lovely little details like that. And because it's designed by a student for students, I think it just has everything you could ever possibly need. So I'm going to show you. Hello. Hi. Um, Jack of the future here. Just realized in my excitement, I forgot to mention a pretty crucial detail, if not the most crucial detail. And that is that these planners are going on sale today at 5 p.m. So the 17th of July, 5 p.m. inkoutsidethebox.co.uk be there. Last year we sold out so fast it was actually crazy. It blew my little brain and there is limited stock so if you do want one make sure you're quick. Anyway back to me in the studio. So should we have a little look inside? The first page you come to when you open the planner it has a pun on it because of course it does. It says a planner in the works and there's a little spanner doodle next to it. It's pun intentional. Then we have this page where you can fill in your name, your email, your phone number, your address if you want to and also medical info. I'm not saying that this planner could save your life but like this planner could actually save your life. And that page is there because I am so prone to losing things and so because I feel like we're quite similar, perhaps you are too, but with this, you don't have to worry. There's also a contents page so you can really easily find everything that's in the planner. And then everything after this page has a page number so you can really easily find everything. Then there's this double page spread with this lovely green color, I have to say. An introduction from me and then also a guide as to how to use your planner, get the most kind of productivity out of it and the most value for money out of it. So that just includes some little tips and tricks that I use when I use my planner, um, just to be as productive as possible. We then have key holiday dates to remember, so like national holidays, and then alternative holiday dates, which are just a bit of fun. The next page is dedicated to birthdays, and this is one of the things that we improved this year. I think it's so much more easy to use now that it's broken down by month. And then in each month, there are one, two, three, four, five, six slots to write birthdays in. If you have more friends than that, then congratulations, Mr. Popular, good for you. Then there's a page to write in your term dates for each term, as well as the holiday dates for like half term and stuff like that. A page for deadlines, which is broken down into assignments and exams followed by space to write in your academic stuff info and your extracurricular activities basically so that all of the information you could ever possibly need is right here and I'd really recommend taking some time at the beginning of the year to write in all of this info so that when you need it at a time later down the line you can just flick to it and it's right there ready for you. Then there's a section to keep track of your grades, so you know what you're working out, what you're working towards, and where you can improve, as well as a page to write down reading recommendations and books that you want to read. So hopefully you can see that all of these things are designed with students in mind, and the next page actually has some useful contacts and websites, including student discount, some productivity apps and websites. And then at the top of this page, there's also a section called look after yourself, and it just has some resources for people who may need them. And one of the loveliest pieces of feedback I had on the last planner was that this was the only planner that 
that person had ever seen that included mental health resources and kind of acknowledged that we are all humans rather than just like productivity robots and that was really important to me I really wanted that to be in there so that you could find it if you needed it I love this divider that leads into the planner and then we have a whole year overview which can I just say is stunning it literally looks so good so you've got all of 2020 and all of 2021 at a glance so you can really easily check dates and things like that so we start with 2020 and it starts in August but it also goes to next August as well so you get 13 months worth and I calculated that when you break that down by the price that makes it four pence per day to use So that's a pretty good bargain I would say um, I'll get to pricing and all of that stuff at the end But one of the other things that we improved is this monthly overview each month So in the last planner you had to flip this to the side But we wanted to make it so that you weren't always having to you know like flip everything over so this time it's portrait and I just think it looks Lovely to be honest. Also, I should say the dividers in between each month have a thicker GSM Which basically means that the page is thicker. So when you flick through the planner, it naturally falls on those pages Do you see that? Incredible. Now that my friends right there is magic And then this is what the weekly spread each week looks like. So you have a different section for each day including the weekends I hate 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 when planners group together Saturday and Sunday So they just put them as one section at the bottom like no the weekend is just as valuable as every other day Just this for the weekend So I made sure that they each had their own section and they were valued, you know So at the top of each week you have five blank lines just for writing anything you want in I tend to put my main goals for the week So if I've got a particular essay due or some reading that I need to get done I always write that in there and then on each individual day you have a section to write all the activities you need to get done on that day with a time box thing column next to it there we go as well as a separate box each day for a mini to-do list because sometimes there are tasks like do your laundry that don't necessarily have a specific time you need to do them but you do need to get them done so that's why that box is there as well and so each month is a different color i love the color palette on this planner so much so some improvements we have made to this weekly spread is Firstly, we added a little tab in the corner so you can keep track of what month it is just at a quick glance, making it even easier and quicker to find what you need to find. And then also in the previous planner, we had a water tracker so you could track how much water you were drinking each day to stay hydrated. But the feedback we had was that you guys didn't really use it. And to be totally honest with you, I didn't really use it either. And we wanted to make this as streamlined as possible and cut the BS. So it's gone. I'll take the L on that one. That is fine. I will take it. We also really jazzed up the dividers this year. So they really match with the cover. I just think ugh, it flows so nicely. These ones are my personal favorites. Like how nice is that? It's classy. It's a little bit airsy. Each month also has a whole page just for notes. And then we also added in space for some mind maps. We have one for summer and one for the Christmas break because one of the things that gets me through term is planning what I'm going to do over the holidays and so we made this little page so you can keep track of all of your plans and what you want to do with that time. Another thing we've added in is two pages just for doodles so they're just totally blank pages because we didn't have any blank pages in the previous planner and I get that sometimes you just want to jot something down and you don't want to be confined by the lines. And then you come to the habit tracker. I love the idea of a habit tracker and we didn't have this in the last academic planner but it is included in this one. Okay quick side note my foot has gone numb. I I've been sitting on my foot for way too long and I can't feel it anymore. We're just gonna take a quick time out. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. So basically the way that you use a habit tracker is it's broken down by month and then you have every single day in that month at the top and you can write in the habits that you want to keep. For example, getting a certain amount of sleep each night or drinking enough water or going to the gym. And then each day if you've done that thing, you can give yourself a tick and actually feel like you're working towards something and then keep track of whether you've actually turned it into a habit. So I think that is just lovely. We then come to a space where you can write in your timetable, but before that, I know that loads of you follow and use my productivity playlist on Spotify and so I've made a little scanner link here where you can just scan that on your phone and it will take you to the Spotify playlist. We have my productivity playlist, a playlist I update every single week with my favorite songs, a throwback bangers playlist, get some mash for these bangers, trust me, and then a playlist full of my favorite bands because I love studying with music and I thought I would introduce you to some new playlists, so there you go, how cool is that? Also massively just plugging my own Spotify account and I'm kind of fine with that. Then you have three weeks worth of timetables that you can fill in right at the back of the planner so that it's really easy to access. And that, my friends, is the end of the planner. I am so proud of it, honestly. I love it so much. I just take pictures of it all the time. I'm always hyping it up because I just think, you are wonderful. So the information you need to know is these planners are going on sale at 5 p.m. today on the 17th of July. They are going live as pre-orders. Now, 
The reason for that is, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like the world has literally just crumbled in the last couple of months. And because of that, we had a little hold up, but that's fine. All the planners have been made and they're on their way to the warehouse. So they do all exist. They are all real things. But I didn't want to commit to being like, hey, they'll be with you next week when I can't guarantee that. What I do have confirmation of, however, is that they will be with you by the very latest in the first week of August. And that's when the planner begins anyway. So I feel like that's fine. But I couldn't contain this any longer. I feel like it's such a good way to get hyped for the next academic year. And I know that people always want to get organized as quickly as possible. So you will have these planners in the week that the planner actually begins. But at the moment, they are set as pre-orders. But at the soonest possible moment that we can, we will ship them out to you and you'll get emails um, updating you on the dispatch process and that kind of thing. So it won't be long, but first week of August as an absolute latest point. Each planner is 17 pounds, but you get 395 days worth of use out of this, which does work out at four pence per day. I can assure you that it is really, really worth that price. It's so high quality down to the way that it's manufactured, produced and designed. All the tiny little details are so personal and unique to this planner. It's also so colorful and bright and vibrant and I just, love it so much. Information about postage and especially international postage will be available on the Ink Outside the Box website. There's a section that says FAQs, so if you have more questions about that, go and check there. Obviously, postage is totally out of my control. I literally have no say on postage and don't make a penny from postage, so none of that money is like me profiting. But yeah, if you do want to make the next academic year your most productive year, then head to inkoutsidethebox.co.uk and Grab yourself one of these bad boys. Also, we have an Instagram account, which is at underscore underscore ink outside the box. And I'm ready to put my heart and soul into that Instagram account. I'm really excited for the plans that I have in my head. I'm going to be using that a lot. I'm going to be quite active on there. So you can follow that account for updates. For now, I just wanted to say the most enormous thank you to every single one of you for making this dream a possibility for me. I honestly just feel so lucky to be able to do this. And I love the community of people that we have here. Please let me know if you do buy one so I can thank you personally on Instagram or Twitter. I'll be DMing everyone and tweeting them and all of that kind of thing. And also just sharing a post or telling someone else about these products means the world to me as a small business that is so appreciated and it really does go a long way so thank you also i just wanted to quickly shout out the amazing ink outside the box team danny lauren and amy they have just been so incredible at helping me turn this thing that i had in my head into an actual physical product every part of this is so me and it comes from my heart but those people have helped to facilitate it and make it an actual thing and speak to suppliers and do the designing on the computer that i could just never even fathom it's also really important to me to make sure that these products are sustainable so the package that it will come in is biodegradable and recyclable and yeah I'm just really chuffed with how it turned out thank you very much for watching this video make sure you head to inkoutsidethebox.co.uk to buy your academic planner for now I've been Jack Edwards thank you so much for watching this video I love you loads bye bye in case I don't see ya good afternoon good evening and good night